<clears throat> I've decided to make a video about death, specifically how to cope with it as an atheist. Now, obviously, if you're an atheist, you don't believe in any kind of god, so you probably don't believe in any kind of afterlife either. And as a result, it's, it's a lot harder to deal with death, because you know that you're never going to see the person again. You have to... You have to think about it before it happens. You have to think about what it would be like if your loved ones, your closest loved ones, died tomorrow. And consider how you would feel and all the things that you would have wanted to do while they were alive. And you do that before they die, and you do those things. You do the things that you would realize that you wanted to do after they died, before they died, by thinking about them dying in advance. And this works to an extent, because you get to live out what you wanted to with your loved ones. But at the same time, it can still, of course, it's just still going to be very tough dealing with it. And especially if it's sudden, like you didn't see the person or, you know, they died in a car accident coming home from work or going to work or something like that. That is the kind of thing that you have to be ready for by thinking about it in advance. And it hurts to think about those kinds of things, about how you would feel if your closest relatives died, or if the ones that you cared about the most died. And you have to think about it, accept the pain as you're thinking about it, and then come to realize the things that you want to do while they're alive, while you're alive. It could be very difficult to deal with death, and I'd imagine it's a lot more difficult if you haven't thought about this stuff in advance. It's the kind of stuff that it's not pleasant to think about. But once you think about these kinds of things, you'll come to realize what you should be doing while you're alive and while your loved ones are alive. And you have to do those things. That's the hardest part. Actually doing the things, you actually have to realize what kinds of affection that you might have wanted to show for your loved ones that you didn't show while they were alive, before they die and show them that kind of affection while they're alive. And that should make you more, more able to tolerate death. And of course, it's still going to have a heavy impact on your life. But if you've done everything that you wanted to do, or almost everything, or most of the things that you wanted to do, or if you do the things that you would regret not doing when they die, then you'll feel better than you would if you didn't. And it's pretty much that simple. But it's very painful to think about. 